Pecku bedne na plno, tak nech to hraje kulo Moj tok numero uno Kedy ťa prevacuje ako sumo Není som kulo, ale múdaj do mláno stylo Sú žer ma vychutná ma ako gyros Na dobre veci brachu, ja mám určite do prínos Som varčí kráľek minus Mláno stylo, to je čistý prínos Jebal som 20 píč a karol čino Charizmu varču a... Yo, what's up guys? Here we are in another tutorial and this is how to render an image. I'm gonna show you everything you need to know on how to render in 3ds Max. So this is tutorial 12. Um, you're doing this tutorial with Pav and here we are looking at how to render this image. Now this is a quick model that I've done back in school and this was a Hydra 3D project. Um, pretty funny huh? Yeah. And basically uh, I don't think I connected the teeth yet but um, I created the whole, I rigged it and everything so it moved I'll be teaching you guys how to do that as well um, I haven't attached the teeth to any bones yet so I have to attach the teeth and stuff funny thing is it actually <laughs> it moves the head and the teeth stay still which is quite funny I haven't, I haven't, um, you can see I haven't rigged it very well I have to still rig it but um, it wasn't finished and we actually uh, did, I did something else for the project but I thought I'd just open it up because it'll be an easy, um, just it was just it was just my choice really for this render thing. So anyway, if we, if we look at it and we press a Shift and Q on the keyboard, you will actually create a render, which will look like this. <laughs> now you can see it looks pretty funny. Now if you wanna if you wanna render your scenes, okay, you click on rendering and render setup. Now it depends on what you wanna render. Uh, for rendering images, you want to select single, and let's say you want to render specific frames from the bottom. Let's say you have an animation, you want to render frame 10, you just put in frame 10 down here. Okay. Now, looking at um, area to render, you can actually select what you want to render. So you can select the region. Let's say we select just this. Click on Q. All we're gonna do is we're only gonna render that region. We're not gonna render anything else. So let's say I move the camera like this. Watch that. This is gonna stay the same while I just change the region. So we can actually what we could do with this region is if we move it over here and we spin the model like this, then we press Q. You can have one side rendering like this. close it down then we take this region put it here take the model put it here and then we render it here but obviously you need to watch out how you render it because I've just went over the other model so um, we can just spin it around I don't know, like this and we can have you know we can just render different size sizes and stuff onto that image and then click on, on view if you want to save it click on view and save the whole thing if you want to click on region click on region and just save a region but this is how you use it so this is what this region thing is right there um auto region selected but no we're just going to leave it on view now the settings of the size very important remember the higher your image the longer it takes to render so make sure you uh, choose your width very correctly because trust me I once went to the HD settings going on a costume going down to HD and I selected 192 by 1800 and guess what I was there for three days rendering a few scenes I was very very um, angry when I could have just used the actual 128 by 7 220 which is the uh, standard YouTube HD video settings to get that nice you know HD um, HD uh, render so if I'm rend render it now you can see I'm uh, render it in HD my image will be much larger now and if I zoom in I will have more details of the actual render do I do apologize for them teeth they're quite weird actually they coming out it's a very crap model actually but yeah let's just leave it there um it is a, he's a granddad right and his teeth are coming out you know he's got them fucked up teeth <laughs> anyway where's his eye god didn't model his eye his eyeball's gone somewhere uh, let's look for his eye where's his eye okay i think it's 
Ah, his eye popped out. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I must have deleted by accident when I was doing something. Anyway, let's just leave it for now. Um, if we look at like the stuff down here, uh, what we have is we got a render settings. We want to render the atmosphere. If you select these things, you will actually render what you see. So if you want to render the effects, you select it. Displacement maps. Uh, we'll look more deeper into that. This is very handy when you want to create bump maps onto like let's say roof and stuff. But displacements are very time consuming and take long time when you render, so do watch out, okay? Not very recommended unless you are uh, working for a company and they're using like 10 computers doing uh, farm rendering, which is actually, uh, you look, look that up if you don't know what farm rendering is. Um, but uh, advanced lightning, you want to use advanced lightning, yes, no, F basic settings, and a sign renderer. If you're using basic. Um, Mental ray, you know. Um, let's say you want to use mental ray for your renderer. Select mental ray. Active shader. Well, you just have default skyline. But if you download V-Ray, you can use the V-Ray advanced. Um, this is what I usually use V-Ray. Um, but for now, just leave on mental ray. Click on render. It's gonna render it using mental ray now. So we might even get better quality now. It's going to take a bit longer, but you can see we have more things at the bottom now. It's a bit smoother stuff. So, yeah. As you can see, this is um, how you render. Now, if I was to zoom in, let's say right here, and render that, it just Control and Q. I can just render the body. Pretty simple very simple um, I don't think I even textured it just added the simple color with noise on it um, very uh, easy but what you can see when you zoom in quality is pretty nice you know it's nice and smooth and stuff so rendering HD is very important if you want to get nice quality only thing I would say is um, do watch out on how you're rendering Okay, you make sure your your stuff is quality when you render it, um, or you your or even if your rent you know your stuff ain't too quality. Make sure your renderings are. Um, if you go on render, render setup again, and if you're happy with that, you can just simply click on render. Now, if you want to render images, let's say you want to render from zero to frame sixty, you would put. Uh, frames range 0 to 60 and you click render and this will create um, 60 images for you um, yep 60 images all the way up to 60 and you might even create more depending on how many frames per second you have which is the settings down here and next to the video time configuration uh, you can set how many frames per second and everything you have right here so when you click on costume you can set your frames per second PAL, NTFS and stuff this is very handy you can slow the animation down and speed it up and stuff um, but this is the simple rendering guys this is how you render um, apart from the render setup okay if if we render something and we want to save it it's pretty simple to save we just click on this save image and we save it, click on a format and save it as of each format we want and there we go, we can just save it, call it something and save it very simple and we can uh, copy the image clone clone this, so if I clone it there you know I can have a clone of what I've done and then create another render and then compare the two renders so I can clone this, let's say I cloned it again with red color I would clone it then I could combine this render and that render and I could like oh, see see which um, format would work better then I can make another render and see I made this one it was yellow color I would clone it again put it there then I would make black color clone it again you know turn the render off I would have four things I could compare see which color would be the best so this is very good the cloning tool which um, allows you to compare um, renders 
Alright guys, this is Pav, you know, Pav 3D Tutorials. Hopefully I've taught you something today. Um, I want to thank you for watching this um, tutorial on how to render images, render image. In the next tutorial we'll be looking at how to render a video. And I guess I'll see you guys next time on where I'll show you more tutorials on how to render video, extrude models, create holes inside the models, create an environment and uh, set up image planes and stuff but yeah this is Pav alright I'm out please for my time uh, and you know my hard work and everything I would be very happy if you could just hit that like on that video um, write something you know say thanks Pav whatever <laughs> I'm not bragging but it would be nice and if not fine very well but yeah peace out guys and thanks you for watching and happy 3 ding peace out <laughs>